I was born in Taiwan and came to the U.S. Wow, I was 12 years old. Being an immigrant, it's kind of difficult for me to make a lot of friends. And uh, so I became a pretty, uh, pretty nerdy kid. And uh, being a typical nerdy kid, I, I love electronics. My parents encouraged me to become an engineer. Since I like electronics so much, might as well be an electrical engineer. I came to USC. William came in from a foreign country as an immigrant here. If you had asked him maybe 30 years ago which direction he was going to go, I don't think he would have been able to tell you. I was 26 years old and I started my own company. And uh, the company became so big, I was, I was office of the world. I was making money. William was uh, fresh out of graduating, you know, he, he had these ideas, but he didn't have the people thing quite right yet. I believed I was so successful that I could do everything. I could take on all the challenge myself. I lost total like $45 million in the period of uh, four or five years. At that time, there was so much um, weight on his shoulders. I had to lay people off. I had to liquidate the assets. I learned the hard way, right? I, I paid a $45 million tuition to learn that I'm not good enough to do a lot of stuff. Good evening and welcome to News 5 tonight. We begin with the latest on the SQ-006 crash. On October 31st, 2000, I was on a business trip in Taiwan. There was typhoon and the captain took the wrong runway and uh, the plane blew up. A lot of people lost their life. First thing came through my mind was, oh, this is it, it's over. I'm gonna die. The second thing came through my mind was, I miss my family. I really miss my family. The third thing came through my mind was, oh, how come? All my headaches are over. I don't have any more headaches. Uh, turn around my life. He's a remarkable example of someone with the ability to reboot, the ability to think again. He had this idea that we could make a flat panel television much less expensively than they were at that time. This time around, when I saw the Vizio, I told myself that I want to build an enterprise. I want to build a company which made up many, many talented people who balance each other. It was really refreshing and inspiring to see him so energized and so committed to this, this idea, this concept, and to start rallying all the right people to support it. You gotta have faith in yourself, you gotta have faith in your dream, but also at the same time, you gotta have faith in people. He's a magic maker. He's a visionary. He has the tenacity and the capacity to make something from nothing. It's kind of interesting to see how life turns around and how things that you thought you would not be able to accomplish, you accomplish in a very different way, but with a tremendously equal success. And I think that's, that's the type of, of person William is.